Good morning, guys and gals. Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Duck Garage here in beautiful Alabama. And uh, for those of you that don't know, well, it seems Facebook likes to um, censor uh, 1938 Germany Nazi. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah. So I got post block for seven days. So <laughs> I'm going to be live streaming. From here, of course, you know, you know, from the Garden of Garage, but I will be live streaming and it will, and I will be sharing videos through Lorraine Meadows, okay, account, because <laughs> they post blocked me for seven days. I mean, you know, and it was, no, it was over a joke, for God's sake, okay, this is how bad Facebook has gotten, okay, I mean, this is terrible, some left wing crazy, whatever, anyway, it doesn't matter, anyway, okay, we're doing a uh, four console stream here. All right, now over the week you watch me build these things and you know using RGH 1.2 and I've been doing videos with them you know with how I'm setting them up and the wiring and all that so each one of these consoles of course had their own video with you know their you know the guts of them and how I did it and the boot time as you can see which is perfect every friggin time so it's all good so anyway uh, the first one that we're doing we're doing with uh, mr. Justin Sandoval here okay um, he ordered the console off the website from us, and uh, here it is. It's all done. All right, now RGH 1.2, all right, up on Alliance servers, along with a 10 day trial of the purge, a GTA uh, for, for GTA 5. You've also got uh, version 15 for college uh, football revamped, okay, for NCAA 14. A BO2 MW3 Ghosts and Advanced Warfare off hosts, as well as Jiggy and Sentinel GSC menus for BO2. All right, so I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead, and what we're going to do, we're going to fire this thing up here. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead here, I'm going to turn that light off there, so that way then we don't have this humongous uh, glare. All right, and as you can see, we're booted up, life is good, and it's also good to see you guys. I hope that you're all doing well. All right, and uh, Justin, this is your console here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to sync up the controller. And we're going to boot into Aurora, okay, as soon as it locks the server, which it just did. And we should have the Aurora screen coming up. There you are. Welcome to Alliance. Life is good. And there we have it, okay? Now, as you can see, the standard complement. Now, this is a 250 gig drive, all right? So, we'll go on over. We're using Aurora dashboard, all right? And we start off with Xbox 360 dashboard. We got all of our battlefields, our Call of Duties, you know, so on and so forth. Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto. Halo, okay, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamp version 15 mod on it, okay, Resident Evil, so on and so forth. Okay, pretty simple. And you got Xbox Live Arcade, you got a bunch of Live Arcade on here as well. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. All right, you got a couple of classic games on here as well. And you, listen, a warning to you guys who want to play with the classic games, okay. There is a startup setup video, okay, link in the description. Okay, click on that, and that will tell you how to set this thing up for the first time and use the system, okay? When you're playing classic games, you got to put it in bypass mode, okay? It can't have connection to a server or anything like that. It can't use the server XEX. It has to use the standard, uh, the, the standard uh, boot up on it. So, you know, you have to put it in bypass mode. Putting it in bypass mode to play a classic game is just, you just power it on. Then you hit the eject button. The tray will pop out. Okay, and then what will happen is, is once it boots, it'll suck the tray back in, and then you'll be able to play classic games, okay? So you got to remember, please put it in bypass mode to play classic games, all right? Then, of course, you have indie games, and then, of course, you have a bunch of emulators on there, too. you got FC360, which is a NES emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, back to FC. you got over 8,000 ROMs on there. Have a blast with that. Okay, so on and so forth. We'll go here. We'll make sure that she's up and online and live. In which it better be. There you go. All right. And there's our connection to Xbox Live. We're good. Okay. KB is good. You press the guide button and you go over to our fifth tab. You'll have your advanced warfare cheats, BO2 cheats, ghost cheats, and modern warfare 3 cheats. To disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. Very, very simple. We'll bring this back. And here you go, Justin. That's your console, brother. She's all done. All right. We're going to ship it off. You'll have a tracking number in your email. Okay. Uh, so you'll be able to track it, and then you're going to have a signature confirmation where you're going to have to sign for it, okay? So anyway, she's all good to go. Thank you very, very much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. We're going to say goodbye to Justin here. All right. Yeah, I had I had a, a message from a guy. All right, it was kind of funny, 
Okay, it really was. He's like, oh, you're using the same console over and over. I'm like, really? Okay, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I love these guys when they come up with their crap. You know, it, j it just makes me want to laugh. All right, now, um, here you go. Oh, yeah, same console over and over. That's why this one's shiny, okay? And in fact, here, okay? Need I say more, all right? You know, I mean, I love that crap when they do that stuff. It's so funny. Okay, now, all right, this is Graham Gosson, okay? Graham, he went ahead, he ordered a console off the website from us. This one's a Trinity model, okay? And uh, she got a 250 gig drive in it. And uh, RGH 1.2 method, all right? So we'll fire it up. And we'll go ahead, we'll sync the controller up here. Okay, and of course it booted. There we are. RGH 1.2 makes it so easy. You know, you get these boot times on RGH 2 was a pain in the butt. And if you remember, over the past, what, seven years that I've been doing this on Facebook, all right, just on Facebook. Now, I've done it way longer than that. But, you know, for the past seven years, RGH 2, to get it to boot has always been a pain in the butt. You got to sit there with, with wiring, timing files, everything. This is just so nice to do, work with. Thanks to Josh Davidson. You know, really cool, man. Really cool work. And I said, oh, there's going to be something else coming down the pike uh, shortly, by the way, as well. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting, actually. Um, it's a surprise. I'm not saying much, but you'll see. Believe me, when it hits, you'll see. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Now, Xbox 360. Start at the dashboard, work our way through. As you can see, all the Call of Duties, everything else on it, Gears of War, same complement as the other one, okay? Uh, version 15 for college football revamp, so on and so forth. All right, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. You have your classic games on there. Your indie games. Emulators. And, of course, we'll go back to Xbox 360. We'll make sure that she's up and online and live. There we are. Got it. Good. And she's live and she's good. Good KB. Everything is good. All right. We'll hit the guide button. We'll rock on over to the fifth tab. And there's your Advanced Warfare Cheats, BO2 Cheats, Ghost Cheats, and Modern Warfare 3 Cheats. Disable A. Enable A. Pretty simple. And we'll bring this back to home. And we're good to go. All right. So... Now that that one's done, this is Mr. Graham Gosen. It's going to be shipping out. You'll have a uh, tracking number, and you'll have to sign for it, of course, when it gets to your door. So listen, Graham, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. Um, and like I said, we'll get it shipped off for you. All right, so now we'll say goodbye to Graham. All right. And what we'll do is we will go ahead and we will say hello to, Mr., uh, to Seneca Pender, okay? Now, Seneca here, there you go. That's your console right there. Nice, sweet little slim model. All right, and this one I do believe, what is this one? This one is a Corona. Okay, rocking the RGH 1.2 method once again. So we'll go ahead, we'll plug this in here. You can always tell the, the systems by uh, their power. You know, 9.6 is gonna be a Corona. Uh, 10.83 is going to be a Trinity. Okay, so. Here we are, we're good to go. Fire it up. Go ahead, let me sync this controller up here. And of course she fires right up. It's like, it's like so expected now. It's like, <laughs> it's so nice to actually boot it like a retail console. It's really beautiful. <laughs> like I said, I can't thank Josh enough for this. The guy worked, worked really, really hard on this thing. Uh, on RGH 1.2. Did an outstanding, amazing job on it. All right. Now, okay, here we go. All right. Now, as you can see, uh, let's see here. We've got the complement here. Probably the same. Yep, 250 gig. Okay. So, here we go. All right. And as you can see, we start off at the dashboard. We'll work our way through. All right. And you got all your Gears of War, college football revamp, everything all set up, ready to go. All right. You got Xbox Live Arcade. Your homebrew section where your tools reside. Your classic games. Indie games. And emulators. Alright, now, what we'll do. We'll make sure that we hit the dashboard. Make sure that she's got a good KV on her. All of these are virgin 
Xbox. Oh, now wait, there we go. Yeah, it's always got to do that for some reason. Don't know why it just does that for some reason. But we'll go ahead and all we got to do is just test the Xbox Live connection here. Uh, it, it has to do with the DNS for some reason. It get it, it, um, uh, sometimes you'll get that, and when you do, just test, just, just retest the uh, the connection, and it'll hook you right back up. You know, it's just I, I don't understand why some of them do that, but they just I don't get it. Okay, all right. And then sometimes it'll, they'll act just fine. See what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Somehow, some way, whatever. Anyway, as you can see, it's up, it's online, and it's live. It's got a good KV on it, okay? All these are virgin Xboxes with virgin KVs. So, you know, I love virgins, yes. <laughs> okay. Facebook will probably ban me for that one, too, now. Okay, now, anyway, uh, hit the guide button. Roll on over. Advanced Warfare Cheats, PO2 Cheats, Ghost Cheats, and Modern Warfare 3 Cheats. Disable A, enable A, simple, Xbox Home, bring it back. Seneca, thank you so much for your business. I really do appreciate it. Shipping it off, you'll have a tracking number, and of course, you know, you'll have to sign for it when the console gets there. Alright, so thank you so much for your business. Greatly do appreciate it. Say goodbye to Seneca now. Alright. And let's see here now. We've got one more here. Okay. We have Mr. Cameron Powell. Cameron has been waiting with bated breath for this thing. He's like, man, can't wait to see the live stream. Ah! Okay, Cameron, here it is, all right? Dude, <laughs> here's your console, man, okay? There it is, all right? See? Nice little sucker, ain't it? All right, now, I'll tell you what we'll do. Fire the bitch up. Okay, now yours, I did the... Uh, the crazy ROL that you wanted with the fading center, you know, and all that. And I did your colors for you that you wanted on it. Okay, so we're all done there. Okay, and as you can see, there we are. Of course, the console booted. Now, let me sync the controller up here. There we go. Okay. And now we should boot into Aurora. Okay. Mm. And there we are. All right, now this one here is a little bit bigger, okay? This one here, we can file manager. Let's see here now. Yeah, this one is a 500 gig. Okay, this is a 500 gig drive. All right, so this one's got a lot more on it. The bigger the hard drive, the more stuff you could you you, you, could, you could put on there. Okay, so we'll go ahead. Xbox 360. We start off at the dashboard. We got Afro Samurai on that one. Wait, I said Afro. I might get banned by Facebook. Hmm, interesting. All right, you got your Battlefield, Call of Duties on it. A lot of Call of Duties. Okay. Crisis, Defiance, Dragon Ball Z, your Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Medal of Honor, NCAA Football 14, and uh, man, it just goes on and on and on. Let me make sure something here. Want to make sure that there is no hidden title. Yep, I knew it. That does it every time. Okay, to unhide a title, you just hit show. Okay, you know, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There was there was one. There we go. Thank you. Uh huh. Because there was a lot more on there than that, and I was like going like, wait a minute. <clears throat> you know, you gotta love that show. There you go. All right. If you ever miss, if you ever, I don't know why Aurora does this either. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. The titles are already selected, and yet it does that. So just weirdness. Okay. But anyway, once you once you unhide and once you unhide them, they're unhidden. Here, we'll go back here, and then what we'll do is we'll go back over here. And now, now as you can see, there they are, okay? Now, those are multiplayer disc games. So, there's there's two discs on there. There's actually, you know, two two ISOs on there. So, you know, you, you want to hide the one because that's your content, okay? And the other one is the gameplay, and that's the one that you want to see. Because you don't want to see doubles of everything. That's crazy. That's the reason why I hide the, I hide those, those, uh, those multi-games, but... All of a sudden, just a roar just gets it in its head. Well, I'm going to hide everything on everybody. Yeah, I was like, going like, wait a minute. So anyway, you got your Mass Effect, uh, you know, trilogy, all that kind of good stuff. Of course, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamp version 15 on it. So on and so forth, okay? A ton of stuff on here. You got a ton of games on here. All right. You should keep it busy for a while, man. Xbox Live Arcade. You got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. Okay, your homebrew section where your tools reside. Then, of course, your indie games, and you got you got a lot of indie games on there, too, as well. Classic games, you got a ton of classic games on here, also. Okay, as much as I could fit on there, I jammed it on there, okay? So, you got a ton of classic games. Emulators, full complement, over 8,000 ROMs on there. 
And then we're back to show all. And then what we'll do is we'll go to Xbox 360 and we'll make sure that uh, that everything fires up right. And we'll head on over. And there we are. Good. And Cameron, you're up. You're online. You're live. See, now this one, fine. Boot it right, uh, you know, right, right to the network, no problems. You tell me, okay? you got to love Microsoft and their multi-million dollar network that they cannot, for some reason, get stable correctly. I don't get it. Anyway. All right. So anyway, there you are. You hit the guide button. Go over to the fifth tab, and of course, there's your there's your uh your off host cheat well on host cheats I should say you know for advanced warfare BO2 to ghosts and modern warfare three to disable A to enable A pretty easy, and then we'll bring this back. So Cameron, listen, brother, thank you for your business, man. I really do appreciate it. We're shipping it off. You'll have a tracking number, and then you can have signature confirmation. You're gonna have to sign for the console when you get it. Okay. So that way, then, we know that you got it, everything is cool, and everything is right. Okay, it's the only way I'm going to do business. I ain't going to do it any other way. All right, so anyway, listen, thanks for watching, guys. I greatly do appreciate it. I have a date with a panda. Yes, a very scary panda, because I'm actually doing a dual name Jasper uh, for Julian Salazar. And um, his is going to have laser etched graphics on it and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I'm just like, okay, here we go. So, you know, I drew up a, uh, a panda. Yes, a mad panda. Anyway, hope you guys have a good one and be safe and everything and have a great day. And um, like I said, I'll be posting I'll be posting live streams from here. And, uh, you know, if you see stuff shared by Lorraine Meadows Rhodes, well, that's my wife. So, you know, in plain English, I'm going to be using her account for the next seven days because Facebook decided to be a bunch of idiots. So anyway, y'all have a good one. I'm going to holler at you later, guys. I hope that you take care of yourself and be safe. Tristan, how are you? Dorian, good to see you, man. Chris, it's going good, man. It's going good. Good to see you guys, Kenneth. Yeah, man. Classic game is in server mode. No, you no, Dorian. Dorian, listen. You can't play classic games in server mode, okay? Because there is no server for Xbox Live 1.0 from the original Xbox yet, okay? That's the reason why. It doesn't ban the KV or anything like that. It just won't play. So you got to put it in bypass mode in order to play the original games, Okay? Otherwise, the end result is is this is what's going to happen, Dorian, if you do this, okay? If you, let's say, go over to original games, okay? We'll go over to a classic game, all right? Now, uh, we'll pick a classic game. Here you go, okay? And we'll play it. Okay, now this is what will happen with it on the server. You liking that? <laughs> okay, you get a big black screen, Okay. Nothing. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to play with it on the server. Now, I'm going to show you here. Okay? Pay attention. Now, what you do is you put this thing in bypass mode. Power the console off when you want to play a classic game. Okay? Now, power it on. Hit eject. Leave the tray hanging out. Okay? You got to leave the tray hanging out. It'll suck it back in once the console boots. Okay? In which it just did. All right, now, you're going to go to Aurora. It's going to go to the dashboard, all right, which is cool. But you're not going to have any server connectivity at all. You cannot get onto Xbox Live and, you know, all of a sudden start playing GTA Five or, or, you know, college football revamped or whatever, you know, because it's in bypass mode. We bypass everything. Now, how do we know we're in bypass mode? It's very simple. We'll go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and turn the controller on. Here you go. You notice no fancy, you know, fancy schmancy freaking HUD or anything like that. You just have a regular normal HUD, okay, as you can see, all right? Now, we can play a classic game, okay? So, we'll go on over. We'll go to a classic game here, all right? And then uh, we'll go here, and we'll hit that, okay? Now, you see the title comes up. Everything comes up. It blinks twice. Original Xbox game. There you are, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Deception, so on and so forth, okay? And the game plays just perfectly fine, okay? But that is the way that you have to play an original Xbox classic game on here, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, there is a guy by the name of Luke Usher. Now, I don't know if you've been paying attention to my post or not, but Luke Usher uh, redesigned Xbox Live 1.0, which is going to be Insignia, okay? That's, that's the network that it's going to be. Now, they are testing it, and, uh, you know, if you look up Insignia for the original Xbox, yeah, it's coming, okay, all right, it is definitely coming, all right, so all of the older Xboxes, all the old OG Xboxes, as they're called, and Chris Wright has one of them, okay, you know, but in fact, quite a few people have them, um, with that, 
they're going to be able to log on to Insignia Network and be able to play original games with other people. Okay, and you're not going to need Excellent Kai anymore or anything like that. You're going to be able to go ahead and play these games online live, which is going to be really cool. All right, the, it is going to be for modded OG consoles and original consoles. So anybody with an original Xbox can even get on the network, which is going to be really, really nice. Okay, now, of course, if they do that, when, it, when that does come out, hopefully... The gentleman that updated all the compatibility files for the original uh, the original emulator on this machine here that's making this thing actually run, all right, he, he will go ahead and we will be enabled to initially install, you know, a fake, you know, a, a fake key for an original Xbox on this thing. And hopefully we might be able to be able to get these things online on Xbox 1.0 Insignia Network as well. Now, if that comes out, that's going to be really cool. Because then it's going to cover everything across the bases, which is going to be really, really nice. I'm looking forward to it. It's supposed to happen in 2021, okay? So, you know, I mean, that's that that was a predicted date. Now, you can uh, Google Insignia, okay? Luke Usher, and you'll see, you know, and it shows videos of them playing, you, you know, Unreal, Unreal Tournament and all that stuff online. Really cool using Xbox uh, 1.0, but known as Insignia now. He completely reverse engineered the entire friggin' thing, okay, for it to play OG games online live. And because the patent is up with Xbox, that's the reason why he was able to do it. Of course, he can't, he can't, you know, you know, say that it's Xbox Live 1.0 because, you know, he'll wind up with a lawsuit after Yin Yang, okay? So he had to call it Insignia. But you'll see all the original consoles, all the original OG Xbox, and there's a lot of people that play them. I mean, there's a ton of them. If you go ahead and you Google, um, like, um, let's see, uh, MU, uh, what you call it, MU Org or whatever, and it, there, there's a bunch of, um, of, you know, web pages on there that, you know, pay homage to the original Xbox, and there's a lot of users on there. And, you know, I mean... Because of um, Rocky V making Emmy Station and XBM, XBMC4 Xbox, okay, those programs on there that allow downloading of the games and the mods and everything else that you can do, man, it's a, there's a big following for that. There is a big, gigantic following for that. So the minute that Insignia comes on, that's going to be awesome. And it's supposed to be free. The, he's not charging anyone for it. That's what he said. So that's going to be really cool, you know, and you might want to check him out, Luke Usher. You know, I've sent him donations and everything because of, because of the work that he's done. You know, I mean, you don't have to donate or anything, but I'm just saying, though, the guy spent a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of work on that to get that to work. You know, I mean, so, you know, I mean, you know, I'm quite sure donations would be nice for him, you know, I mean, because he just does it in his spare time for that, you know, and he's a computer IT guy. Uh, he's also an emulation guru. So, you know, I mean, the guy's really cool. But anyway, as you can see, okay, it plays all the original Xbox games as well. Okay, well, not all of them, but most of them, okay? Some of them, they'll crash on you or whatever, you know, because it's it, because it's the emulation, okay? You know, but um, hopefully we'll wind up getting updates that will make those other games work as well. But needless to say, though, there you go. Now, that is an original Xbox game playing on this thing. To stop it, just hit the guide button, and of course it's going to crash now, in which it will. Yep, see, there you go. Xbox Home, Fatal Crash Intercepted, blah, blah, blah. No big deal. Ain't gonna hurt. It'll come right back, like I said. And then all you gotta do is just hit the guide button, and it'll be fine. But that's what it does. Aurora Home, yes, that'll take you back, and then you can play another Xbox original game or whatever. They just, they, you know, it, it's just a, an exception error within the memory memory management and all that kind of good stuff it does happen you know i mean what are you going to do and also another thing that happens too you know is sometimes it'll it'll go it'll 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 actually reset itself when you start up the game and it's like going like wait a minute what the hell you hit it again and it'll be fine it's just it's just the way the emulator works you know on these because you're emulating an original xbox on an xbox 360 okay two totally different processes you got 733 pentium i versus 3.1 gigahertz you know power pc Totally different machines, okay? But anyway, listen, thanks so much for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. Guys, I hope that you all have a great day. Be safe, be kind, and remember to rewind, and I'll holler at you all later. Take it easy, guys. Have a great day.